Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! This is a short but very interesting question. Hey, Cappy, I would like to know your thoughts and opinions on what are the main reasons that decent people become assholes or lose some of their goodness. Outstanding question. And so I had to sit down and figure it out. And it really is simple. It's it's not, I was thinking, oh, man, there'd be a lot of, re it, it really is simple. And it, it boils down to one thing. And that is, that's what society forces you to become. Uh, most of society, I'm not joking, 85% of the people dragged down the street and shot, you know. And they're like, oh my God, I wouldn't actually do that. But I mean, I would not, you let them be. They, they wouldn't survive without it because they're parasitic. Most people, they themselves are assholes. And so if you're Mr. Nice Guy, nice, you pay the price for nice. You get divorced, you get the shit kicked out of you, you, you try not, it, it, it is so especially counterintuitive and not logical when you're a younger man or a younger woman, like, well, I thought people would be nice. I thought it, um, until you realize that most people are not nice. Most people are assholes, but the difference between me being a, a proud asshole and everyone else is that I'm honest about it. Everybody else wants to make it sound like they're good people, but they will cheat you, they will rob you, they will stab you, they'll parasite off of you. And this transcends politics, forget right or left. I've seen just as many conservative, traditional, no, they want, they, they, everyone wants to live off of you. Everyone wants to take advantage of you. Everybody is a lazy piece of shit and they will take advantage of you. And so for pure survival reasons, I mean, I learned this back in middle school, you don't be nice. Oh, I would have saved myself tons of problems. The first time any bully came out, I just beat the shit out of him with a baseball bat or punched him and got the crap kicked out of me, that would have spared me uh, being trying to be friends and all the, what the baby, fuck, fuck, whatever the parents, fuck that bullshit. You have to be a dick. You have to be an asshole. Because that is the only thing that gets respect. That is the only thing that is uh, honored. That is the only thing that people fear. Like if you're a Mr. Nice Guy, you're, you're an easy mark. You're a pushover. But if you're an asshole, People are like shit. They're not. Well, they'll respect you. Actually, I mean, I even, I even remember um, many years ago, the girlfriend I had at the time, many years ago, when I first started writing my blog, I was like, I don't like your blog. You're too mean. Da, 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 da. And now, twenty odd years later, we find out. Well, not twenty, but fifteen years later, we find out. You know, I was right. I made money through the blog and the online thing and the internet, and my books and everything. Uh, but I wasn't nice enough. She said, oh, it's so full of hate and anger. And what I found out is I wasn't angry or pissed off enough. <laughs> I thought I was pretty angry back then, but I wasn't enough. Uh, it pays. I mean, not only for survivors, another reason. It pays to be an asshole. When I started telling bosses to fuck off and people to fuck off and fuck you, pay me, all of a sudden everyone started throwing me more money. You know, I used to think, well, I'll be a loyal corporate guy. And what? I'll work for $30,000 a year. No, what you say is, yeah, uh, no, that is a joke of an offer. And you usually, that is a joke of a job offer. Uh, no, I'm, I'm seriously not going to take that. Um, no no offense, but you'd have to double that. Okay, well, maybe we can't double it, but we can get it up a little bit. Um, you got to be a dick. Because at least people respect dicks. They respect assholes. They respect strong people. Maybe not physically strong, although they respect that too, but someone who's not going to get pushed over. And that's about the only, and then you, and you can see people who try to be nice. Teachers, pets, they all get straight A's. What do they get pushed over? They get divorced. They get ramrodded. They never get promoted. Um, no, and the, and the other thing, I mean, there's many reasons, but one other thing is just the pure efficiency. Uh, good people start running out of patience of being nice. Like, like for example, political correctness is a perfect example of this. I don't say African-American. You know why? Because it takes too damn long to say. I say black. 
because I don't have, not only is it more efficient, seven times more efficient, African-American, Caucasian-American, Asian-American, uh, I'm not a pussy. And it tells people, it signals to people, that guy is not going to be an easy mark. That guy is not one to be pushed around. I don't think he actually hates black people. He just uses black because he's like, fuck you, I'm not dancing around your little fucking pole there. I gotta dance around the eggshells. Um, you run out of patience, especially the older you get. Like, you have no time for bullshit in people's lives. And so it, you get a little curt. You get a little pissed off. Now, as you get older and you realize the whole world is full of more and more assholes and, 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 and pricks and jerks and you, you, you can't just go yelling at it. Everyone has to maintain that, that faux Minnesota nice. You gotta be nice. You gotta like, so you just, you get patience. Um, but as you get older, like especially in private dealings, no. You'll learn to say no. You know, wife or girlfriend, and like, hey, hey, hey shut up. <laughs> no, we're doing, I'm not being nice. No, we're not doing, nope, mm -mm, new, nope. N-U-O-O-P-E-E, -E, nope. We are not doing that. And there's the door. Because um, you just run out of patience. You get older. Uh, and then finally, the third one, although I guess we're on five, uh, people deserve it. Society, society deserves to have its ass kicked, really. The vast majority of people are lazy. They are parasitic. They're not honorable. They will not respect your time. They will live off of you if they can. And um, I don't, and empirically, I had been Mr. Nice Guy. I think we all started out as Mr. But you, you boys have seen this as well. Uh, you try being Mr. Nice Guy with girls, that doesn't get you in. You got to be the bad boy. I mean, not that you're abusive or mean, but you are aloof. You're rude. You don't call them back. And sadly, that's what, and, and if people are going to respond to being a dick, to being a jerk, to being an asshole, then they deserve it. So not only do they morally deserve it because they themselves are lazy, but they reward it. And when I look at most people, I have no respect for most people. Very few people do I have respect for. And when I look at just what a bunch of lazy good-for-nothings, most Americans, because that's all I know really is, is America, but I would, I would guess the world where they don't want to work, they don't want to produce uh, themselves, and then also their lack of dreaming, their lack of the pursuit of excellence, where they just... Dude, they just, I don't know why most people just don't start shooting up heroin, man. You might as well, because you all want the lies. You all want it to make you feel good. You want to, okay, fine, here's your lies. I'm going to treat you like an asshole. I can play Oprah. I, hey, ladies, American ladies, I could sell you what you want to hear for billions of dollars in net worth. Yeah, I'll, t I'll write a book, whatever you want to hear. Sure, here you go, ladies. And, hey, I'm the Democrat Party. Let's, let's obliterate and destroy minority communities by playing the race card game. Hey, vote for me. I'll bribe you with white people's money. I'll go get those rich bastards' money. Oh, never mind that your 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 community is is piss poor and you have lower life expectancies and lower standards of living. And there's all these problems and mental torture. No, no, no. We'll lie. We'll tell you what you want. And we'll be assholes. We'll be real assholes. I mean, even I probably wouldn't do that. I I don't think I could be a Democrat. I don't think I could because it's just, just you gotta lie. <laughs> just. And destroy millions of people's lives so you could be pie. I don't think I could. I don't think I could be that weapons grade asshole. Uh, I couldn't be a Bernie Sanders. Well, because I've had a job too. Uh, but there, there are people, especially the ones who. I think it's the arrogance and the cockiness of your average everyday people. Like, I'm amazing, I'm beautiful, and we're all strong, and we're all heroes, and we're all wonderful. It's like, no, you're not. Well, then you're an is, or an ism, or a bad person, you have hate, and da, da, da. It's like, no, I'm holding you to standards. And when you try to hold people to standards, and all you do is get yelled at and ridiculed because you weren't protecting their fifis, fuck them. Fuck them. All right, here's all the heroin in the world. What do, what do you want? You want to be lied to? Yeah, yeah, major in, in heart, money will follow. Yeah, yeah, go, go, oh yeah, you should deserve it. No, you don't need no man, fish, bicycle, trademark. And, and I take profit off of it. I'll take profit off of it. But the, the larger point is that most people deserve it. Most people want to be lied to. They do. They don't want to do well. They just want to feel well. Okay, I can play that game. And so, yeah, you know, I'm middle-aged now. 
Uh, but there was a there was a time there was nice cappy there was nice cappy and then uh, nice people don't live too long you just don't and then you had to turn into bad cappy asshole cappy and everybody loves them and I mean I, I'm I'm thankful in one I don't have a lot of a soul left but there's one thing I got a little bit of a soul is that at least I could tell the truth being an asshole at least I can look myself in the mirror on that um, but like I said with Operation Evil oh yeah. That's where I become a malicious asshole. Not a good, honest, truth-telling asshole. Where you pay you 35 bucks and tell you not to major in stupid shit. That, that's, all, that's just being an older brother who kicks your ass because he cares. But uh, don't worry, there's weapons-grade asshole coming. Where he actually will fuck up people's lives. And these people will enrich me. If I just get off my ass. <laughs> it's, it's not get off my ass. I gotta do all this other work. So there you go. That's why good people become assholes. They don't really have a choice. It's either that or you die. That's it. That's it. All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.